everyone. At first I was going to talk about um, how to improve quicker, but one of the main points of what I was going to talk about was drawing every day and sketchbooks. So that's just, I'm going to talk about sketchbooks today. Um, but before I do that, I want to talk about this hand drawing. What? And this drawing was drawn in 2016. And um, this was one of my favorite drawings out of that their sketchbook. So I'm drawing it again. And that picture was done, if I can recall, with uh, Pro Markers and uh, Spectrum Noir Markers. But mainly Pro Markers, I think. I can't really remember. <laughs> was drawn two years ago after all. Right. Um, yeah. I sketched the drawing out before I hit record because I thought I was going to use coloring pencils like I did in the original drawing, but I ended up not using coloring pencils. So I guess I could have recorded the entire process, but I didn't. Because I can only do like 20, 30 minute videos at a time. But sometimes I'll draw the thing. And I'll be like, I want to go ahead and finish it. I don't want to wait until uh, to do all the things and stuff. So. <laughs> but anyway, on to the subject matter, which is keeping a sketchbook and how that can help you improve. Um, well, first of all, if you're not good at keeping a sketchbook, but you do draw it every day, then I would encourage you to get a sketchbook because it's a way of keeping track of all of your drawings and you don't have to worry about getting a folder and loose sheets of paper all over the place and stuff and um, a sketchbook is kind of like a journal um, you can write in it if you want to I usually don't unless I am making some funny joke or just a joke I think is funny <laughs> um, but it helps you to keep track of where you are in, in, with your art at one point and um, like since I've been doing this draw this again thing for how long has it been? What? I can't even remember. But um, looking back at those old sketchbooks and I can look at from the time I started to the time I finished and that's like where I was with my art at that period of time. And like if I compare like this particular sketchbook that was from like I said 2016 and I can compare that to what I am doing in my sketchbook now and I can see improvement and it's just it's just a really good way of keeping track of your art so if you don't get a sketchbook for any other reason get it for that reason because <laughs> you can keep all your stuff in one place and that's just really cool and um, you can also see how quickly you improve like my current sketchbook was started at the end of October and it's January now and I'm about finished with it I just got like I don't know three or four pages left and like if I compare the first drawing to the last drawing that I did in here like there's definitely improvement like one of the main things I see because the last drawing I drew in here was a full body thing and it's a lot more um well the pose isn't as stiff as it was when I did the first drawing in here in October because that drawing is kind of like kind of stiff so I can see that I've definitely improved with the land. and the poses are they are different like the first one the lady crossing her arms and the other one she's doing some weird thing with her hands but like I can look at that and I can see that I've improved and that's just that's just so cool like oh my goodness so, yeah, keeping a sketchbook for check tracking your improvement is really, really cool way of doing that. <laughs> um, and if you're not good at keeping sketchbooks and you don't draw every day, then get a sketchbook. <laughs> because, like, I know some people have trouble with sketchbooks and it's, like, they feel like they have to make every drawing perfect. And the, the picture that I'm drawing... Well, I'm not talking about the picture. I'm talking about the sketchbook. What am I doing? The sketchbook that I'm drawing the picture in, that's my sketchbook for full color pretty stuff. And then I have this other sketchbook, which is a cheaper sketchbook. It was $5. I got it from Michael's. And that's like their regular price for it. It wasn't on sale or anything. And that's my do whatever I want sketchbook. <laughs> so it, it, because it's so cheap and because I don't have this pressure on me of 
you know, got to make perfect drawings in this thing because it was $35,000. <laughs> I can do whatever I want in there and I don't have all this pressure. Like, I mean, there's no one putting the pressure on me or yourself, but yourself or me. Well, I'm not putting any pressure on you. I'm not doing that. I put pressure on myself sometimes, like in this, this pretty sketchbook. What? I do kind of make it so I'm like, I have to make these things look good. <laughs> but I don't draw in that one that often. Um, most of the pictures in here were for videos, actually. Not all of them, but some of them are. I'm looking at it now, but you can't see it. What? But if... Um, this, if the pressure of having every drawing look pretty in the sketchbook is the problem, then I think you should have two sketchbooks. One for doing whatever you want and one for pretty stuff. One for full color stuff, if you do full color, which the sketchbook that I'm working in right there. What? Like I said, that's for the pretty stuff. And then I have this other one that I feel a lot quicker. And it's for, like, whenever I feel like drawing, that's what I grab. And... Like I said, I think that's a lot better than loose leaf sheets of paper because with those you have to keep track of them and have folders with paper all over the place. And I used to do that like before I was really serious about this art thing. <laughs> I used to buy big packs of um, printer paper and that would be what I drew on. And like if I liked a drawing a lot, I would put it in the special folder. What? But then there were the drawings that I didn't like so much and I still wanted to keep them so then I had to have a separate folder for all of those and then I was just like, oh my god, too much stuff to keep up with. Why do that when you get a sketchbook? What? And if you have a sketchbook but you still find yourself reaching for those tempting loose leaf sheets of paper, just get rid of them. Well, maybe, well, I don't know how much they cost you. Maybe not get rid of them, but maybe instead of reaching for those, you reach for the sketchbook whenever you flag drawing. Yeah, that's... What does any of that have to do with improvement? My god. Oh yeah, drawing every day in your sketchbook. That's where I was going with this. <laughs> so, that's that's one of the things sketchbooks are good for. Um, drawing every day. Yep. Well, you don't have to draw on a sketchbook every day. You can draw on loose sheets of paper every day. You could draw on the wall every day. <laughs> but, I mean, a sketchbook is nice. I mean, it looks pretty and, like I said, it keeps track of all your stuff. And if you um, put a date on the first page and on the last page, you can see, like, you can come back five years later and think, oh, yeah, that's where I was in 2018. But here I am, five years later, look at me now. <laughs> yeah. Where was I going with all of this? I don't even know. <laughs> um, I should be doing a sketchbook tour soon, because, I mean, I've got only a few sheets of paper. And I'm glad that I'm almost finished, because this bad boy is, like, I don't think you could take anymore. The spine is messing up now. Oh, God. Um... Next week is the one year anniversary of this channel, so I'm going to redraw the first picture that I did for this channel. So that's going to be exciting, and then after that I'm going to redraw one more picture from an old sketchbook. And then um, after that I think I want to do some acrylic stuff, because yesterday I did an acrylic painting and I really like it, and I want to do a video about that. I'm just about done here, I haven't really talked about this picture that much just mainly rambling about sketchbooks I really like sketchbooks I don't know if you can tell but yeah here's the finished drawing I really like how it turned out and I like the shiny stuff the shinies I like the shinies and here it is with the old drawing oh that was July 2016 I didn't I couldn't remember when exactly anyway thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed the video <laughs> um yeah thank you